Hi Sagittarius, welcome to March 2019. Now your ruler, Jupiter, has been arguing with the ruler of Pisces, Neptune, all year. It went exact January 13th, it goes exact June 16th, and then the final one is September 21st. It's on this month pretty big. So one of the things that you want to be aware of is that you may find that you're like super honest and that whatever you think just keeps flying out of your mouth faster than you faster than usual and you will be doing vigorous backpedaling. <laughs> it will be required because even though something can be honest, it may not be appropriate to say and you know, it, it's just over the top because with Jupiter and Neptune arguing like this and it's on at the Pisces new moon on March 6th, which extends it through the 13th, it's going to be really hard to control. And Mercury goes retrograde March 5th through the 28th. So even if you have good intentions with what you're saying, people can easily misunderstand it because of this retrograde in Pisces. So be aware that sometimes it's best not to say anything, even if it's the truth, even if someone's asking you, <laughs> you know, what you think about something or what your opinion is, you know, like, how does this look on me? And you could say, well, you know, you'd look better if, you know, what do you mean? You know, it might be better off just to, uh, you know, plead the fifth or just Hey, you look great. You look fine. Well, it's going to be unique for each one of us. You'll have, each one have to decide. Now, I don't believe in lying because that is one of the problems with this energy. And we're already seeing it here in February with people lying and then the truth comes out and they're in a lot of trouble. When it's just so much easier to tell the truth. But for you, it's the opposite because it's almost like that Tourette's syndrome where you can't stop talking and everything just keeps coming out and uh, then you have to do a lot of backpedaling, vigorous backpedaling to get your butt out of there. <laughs> so be aware of that. Now, I do like this Pisces new moon. It is sextile Mars and sextile Saturn, which is saying, you know, if we're being grounded and we're being practical and taking solid steps towards our career and what we're building, that we can see the success. And you absolutely can see success this month if you prepare well. The challenge is there's so much wishy-washy energy going on here, especially in the water cycle of Pisces. You're a fire sign. Fire signs <laughs> is not the strongest time for fire signs. And, you know, uh, all of this retrograde and with Neptune involved, there can be a lot of misunderstandings and miscommunication, communication breakdown, and just conflict from people uh, being very emotionally upset or over the top. However, if you're being grounded and you're being practical, then, you know, it can be a time of breakthrough. It can be a time where things are very positive for you in the area of money, in the area of work, in the area of home, achieving some goal here. And that's good. Now, another big event that's happening this month is Uranus enters Taurus on March 6th. He went into Taurus last summer for a bit. Now he's in for good. This is about your work. Now, for some of you, you're going to want to change your work. You're going to find that you need your work to be more interesting or energizing and exciting. For some of you, you might want to study astrology. I know when that happened for me back in 95 and 96, that's when I started my astrology practice. And... Uh, you know, for some of you, you might want to go into metaphysics, something metaphysical, or something to do with the internet. Uranus also rules the internet. Now, Uranus is in Taurus, 
Taurus rules what we love and value. Taurus rules um, food. <laughs> it rules money. It rules banking. It rules in, in Taurus. It can also rule beauty. So those are other areas that can open up for you as well where you know maybe you want to you know start your own internet business maybe you want an online business and you'll have plenty of time to develop this over the next seven years you don't have to do it in March with mercury retrograde I don't like to start new things with a mercury retrograde it's fine to start something that you've started before and re-energize it but in Pisces, it's re you know Pisces is the last sign. Not the time to start something new in Pisces. We want to wait till we get to Aries. Aries brings the new starts, the new growth, the new beginnings. And Mercury will not be out of his shadow cycle until he enters Aries on April 17th. So even when he goes direct on the 28th, we're still in this shadow cycle with him, with um, Pisces, the last sign. And Mercury is not strong in Pisces. He rules Gemini and Virgo. Both are very heady, mental, cerebral, and analytical. Pisces is about dreams, creativity, spirituality. Not of things of this world, but things of other worlds. Higher dimension. And, you know, so that's why I, I want people to be very careful this month. And... If something's really great, it'll be great next month. It'll be great the month after. There's no hurry for anything. So don't be in a hurry for anything. And the message with Saturn is be practical, be grounded. With Mars and Taurus, be steadfast, be determined, be gritty. Don't give up, but don't be in a hurry. Mars moves slowly in Taurus not fast then you have daylight savings time on March 10th this is great in the northern hemisphere because the days are getting longer and then the Sun enters Aries on the 20th and we have happy spring equinox and happy fall equinox in the southern hemisphere and this is so exciting and just minutes after that equinox the moon moves into Libra nine minutes in right at the beginning on the 20th and it forms this gorgeous grand trine with Mars who's very late in Taurus and Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn and for you this brings the action to your goals your hopes and wishes where you network your friends the love you receive from others being lucky the money you make from the business you own or the money you make from the company you work for. So there's something amazing happening here with you with this grand trine at the time of the full moon and out of your money house, Saturn and Pluto are in your money house, Mars is in your work house, the moon is at the top of the chart, sextile your planets in Sagittarius, this is extremely beneficial for you. So the universe is saying, if you've prepared well, if you've done your homework, you are going to see success here in March, April, May, and so on because you did the work, because you planned well. And there could be like some old ideas that get realized at this time things that you really care about can be realized at this time and that can happen too with a retrograde where something from the past that we've wanted can happen during a retrograde something from the past that we've been hoping for and wishing for because this is in the area of your hopes and wishes and your ideals and this can be a time where you see them realized here in March April, May, and so on. And that is one of the beautiful things here is it is about dreaming big, but
but it's also about being grounded, being practical, doing your homework, making sure what's ever being offered is as good as it seems, is as good as what's being presented, and if it's really good, it'll still be good next week, the week after, and so on. And we want to make sure that it's, it's the real deal and that we're not being fooled because Mercury retrograde brings liars, dishonest people, and it's sitting next to Neptune, which means they're good at it. They've spent their life lying deceiving and you know so we don't want to be fooled by those that are not honest and truthful and that's something that we want to be aware of now there's another amazing thing that's happening here too because with the Sun in Aries it's sitting next to Chiron and Chiron and the Sun are opposing the moon so there's this opportunity for healing so this could be a time where you're healing healing with others healing a friendship healing with a, a lover a romantic interest your child or family because with the Pisces, such a focus is going on here in the area of your roots, in the area of the home. And you do want to make sure you're taking some downtime here. Because, you know, fire signs, when we're in the cycle of water, until we get into Aries and fully get into it, which is like the Aries new moon and Mercury in Aries, you want to rest. You don't want to push. You don't want to be in a hurry. You don't want to stress. You want to take your time. And it's a nice thing here too is Jupiter is sextile Venus, the ruler of Libra, at the time of the full moon. It's exact. So this is where, you know, something can be realized at this time or you are benefiting financially from a friend or, or a colleague. Maybe they're recommending you, recommending what you do, recommending you for a promotion or a new job opportunity. There's something here that's really good for you. And if you've done your homework and you're grounded and you're practical, you'll be ready for it. One challenge in here is Mars and Venus are fighting at the time of the moon, the full moon and Libra. So if there's someone who's argumentative at the Libra full moon, you know, don't get caught up in it because with the Mercury retrograde, things can be said or things you say can be taken out of context. That's why I want you to be really careful this month. Zip it. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> because you don't want to be having to explain yourself uh, this entire month because of things just getting out that shouldn't get out. And that's especially true on social media. Don't just get on there and, and uh, say things because once it's out there, you can't get it back and or well, you have to do a lot of backpedaling and you know then you're, then you're just wasting energy and time and things that are stupid and a waste of time when you could be focusing on things that bring you money bring you prosperity bring you opportunity that's where you want to be focused is on strengthening your foundation strengthening yourself building up your resources, building up your money, and, you know, working towards your goals, working towards achieving what you want, not, oh my gosh, I have to spend the whole day, you know, 
explaining what I really meant by what I said. And another thing too with Mercury retrograde like this and with Neptune, it's very easy to forget things, overlook things, forget the details. And being ruled by Jupiter, you know, details are not your <laughs> forte. So you want to um, be aware that the devil is in the details this month. And it's very easy to be thinking that we've finished something or something's done. I do this. And then we realize, oh, I didn't finish that. I didn't do that. Because when Mercury goes retrograde, we all go into our subconscious. We're walking in a dream state and we're not aware of it. And especially in Pisces, which rules dreams, it's very easy for us to be thinking that we know what's going on, or we understand something, or we understand someone, and it come to find out they're lying. They're dishonest. It's a hoax. This is the energy of the hoax, and we're already seeing it in February with Mercury just in Pisces, not even retrograde yet, or it hasn't, um, yeah, it hasn't full, it's in its shadow right now, but it, it, will, it goes retrograde on the 5th. So that's not, you know, that's ahead of us, which means, you know, it's, it's going to get more intense before it clears. And it's on at the um, Pisces new moon, and then it's on at the Libra full moon. It's like sitting right next to Neptune at the Libra full moon, crossing over Neptune, March 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd. So even though we move into Aries, we're still wrestling with all this Piscean energy and what's real, what's an illusion, you know. And now there's a lot of positive energy here because the Pisces moon is sextile by Saturn and Mars. And the Libra full moon is trying by Saturn and Pluto and Mars, which is uplifting and inspiring and encouraging. But it can also be where we are just totally in fantasy land or completely delusional about what we're thinking, who we're investing in, what we're investing in, what we're believing to be true. Come to find out, none of it's true. It's all a hoax or it's all fake. That's why you want to do your homework, trust your instincts, trust your intuition. You know, it's like that first 10 seconds you get a read on something or someone. That's what you want to go with, not, oh, it's so amazing and I'm going to make millions and, you know, it's just going to be amazing. Well, maybe it is, but maybe it isn't. Do your homework. Do a Google search. Make sure you know who they are and what they are and what's really going on. What's this really about? Now, you know, like I said, it's one of the beautiful things about this Libra full moon is, is there is an opportunity to heal with others because of the Chiron sitting next to the sun and opposing the moon, that we could have this amazing healing at this moon. And you can even expand your social circle at this time. And you are definitely getting help from other people. Other people want to help you. Friends want to help you. In fact, I see close friends bringing you, you know, very unexpected, happy surprises. So there, there could be, you know, a friend brings you something like amazing and you're totally surprised and you didn't expect it. And you're like, wow, this is so cool. So, you know, there are good things and, you know, most people are honest. It's not that everyone is dishonest. Most people are honest. It's just that there are those instances where we could be experiencing that and it can just be really unpleasant. And so we want to be on guard knowing that Mercury's retrograde and we're being tested in this area. But for you, you know, you've got this gorgeous Libra moon at the top of the chart helping you in the area of your hopes and wishes. What have you been wishing for? What have you been hoping for? What are your goals? I think some of it is financial as well, where, um, you know, something lucrative financially happens for you and it's surprising and it comes through a friend. It comes through a close friend 
who surprises you with this opportunity and you're like, wow, this is awesome. And it is. It's really good. And then Mars enters Gemini on the 31st after Mercury goes direct on the 28th. And, you know, that can be opening doors for you in the area of relationships and uh, help from others. And it's exciting. It's very exciting. For those of you open for love, you know, it's on. I mean, you are starting to see things heat up in that area. I just say, you know, make sure they are who they say they are. If they're as great as they seem, they'll be great in April and May too. If they're not, it's better to know before you invest your heart, your money, your time, your energy. Do your homework. Do a Google search. Find out who they are. And then that way, you're not getting, you know, swept away in the possibilities and, you know, the amazingness of the person. You're seeing them for who they are and not who you want them to be. That's going to be the test for all of us in here and with you because it is in the area of relationships, love. The love you give to others, the love you receive from others. Money looks good, and I think there's something here coming in for you that you've been wanting for some time now that is financially beneficial for you. And you feel good this month, and you look good this month. So you're going to be very irresistible to the opposite sex, or if you're same sex, to whoever you're attracted, you know, whatever you're attracted to and who's ever attracted to you. You're going to look good. You're going to feel good. You're going to shine bright. Money looks good. Career looks good. Something's opening up here for you, Sagittarius. And it's going to be surprising. And if you've done your homework and you prepared well, you're going to get the reward. Spiritually, take time. This is a mystical, magical month in March with Pisces. Take time to meditate. Take time to ground. Count to 10 before you speak. <laughs> like, you know, that saying, you know, then say what you're going to say. That way you have time to think about how you're going to say it because you're going to be tested. And that way you won't have to do so much backpedaling. <laughs> so thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing my videos. Sagittarius, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to support the channel and it lets you know when I upload. So until next time, Sagittarius. It's a good month for you. I love the surprises that are coming in. It's like, wow.